So today is a brisk June 1st and it's chilly and sprinkling a little bit, but we've got a lot of planting to do, so stay with me. The first thing we're doing is potting up my last 11 volunteer tomatoes that I scavenged from my cardamom pots out front. They're just too nice to give away or get rid of, so we're gonna pot them up and maybe sell them or something. Actually, Eric, this one has mildew. Darn. Okay. I'm doing my usual little bit of eggshell and a little organic tea and coffee used ground. So there's organic matter right in the pot. And also, I'm going to put some ground aspirin. I may show you this one. Yes. Not that one. This is only a temporary uh, situation because these need to be in bigger pots, but it's good for today. What do you want to stay in the sun? Well, uh, I don't think we're going to have any today. sun today. Looks nice. Since I saw mildew on one plant, I'm not taking any chances. You know I love corn. And for best pollination, corn should be planted together. Ideally, you want 16 stalks of corn in a square. The only place I have for something like that, that gets sun in my garden this summer is right here on the driveway. So we're gonna set up a patch of corn in cloth pots and I'm gonna park my car on the street. You need a bag? No, we need to plant in this first. We need that. I'm using some biodynamic compost potting mix. Okay. What I've done is I've sprouted some corn that I got from Daryl 
in Tennessee and I wanted to see if it came up before I invested in the soil to plant them out. Ideally, you want to uh, direct sow corn and beans and squash, <laughs> but you know, sometimes in an urban garden, that's just not possible. My plan is to do a little three sisters project in the driveway because I already have some volunteer squash plants. These were donated to me and this one has come up in my succulents. So I'm going to have him dig this out of my succulents and I've also got another one growing in my peppers and we're going to have those growing up into the corn. Uh -huh. Because I'm out of pots, we're going to go ahead and harvest these beets. One is definitely ready, and use this, reuse this pot. Yeah, this one's a good one. These are all small. The other ones. Yeah. Good Okay, and we'll plant this squash in that pot because it needs more space. So we've got our pot ready, and these succulents are pretty indestructible, so we're not too worried about that. It's very good. Yeah. This is aloe vera. We'll just put that in a pot later. Mm -hmm. There's another one. They were just in this tray temporarily anyway. How many are you going to take out? One more. Okay, now okay. Okay. It's too big or just fine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now what about the dirt? Put the dirt. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't move. Very nice. Good. Good. Okay. We should have moved it all the way over here. Oh, I just put a hole in the leaf. Darn it. Where, where, where? Okay. Oh, it broke. One leaf. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, oops. Transplanting these is always something risky. That's okay. Okay. Okay.
When you have a small space garden, you use every little inch. And since we're doing three sisters, I am going to plant some cow peas. These are cow peas that I grew in 2017. I am going to soak these overnight and then I'm going to put one in each one of these pots and we'll see what comes up. And today though, I am going to sprinkle in some marigold seeds just in hopes that it'll keep out some unwanted pests. So once this all gets growing, we will have a true three sisters plot right here in the driveway. So you don't want to miss a moment of that action this summer. <laughs> Apparently I can't count because we left out two of these, so now we've got to work them in. <laughs> Perfect, good. Because we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, the temporary. Temporary. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> One goes here. I should really put a sign on that saying Three Sisters Project. Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. Please be sure and check ways to support this channel in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this video, why not try these? <laughs>